In the dry down, I get this birch bomb, which I personally enjoy. In the dry down, I get this birch bomb, which I personally enjoy. And I set upon this pineapple, and it just makes it a classy, like... In the dry down, I get this birch bomb, which I personally enjoy. And I set a pop... In the dry down, I get this birch bomb, and instead of top this pineapple, and oh, fuck, I find that the apple and pineapple are. <laughs> oh, hell of beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. In life, there are few constants, but there are a few things that we can always be certain about. And one of those things is although Creed is a great brand, they will always be known for consistently being inconsistent in terms of batches. At least that's what the people say. It's just the nature of the business, or does it have to be? I get a ton of questions from people looking for their first bottle of Creed, their first bottle of Aventus, and they always wanna know, man, what's the best for performance? Well, I think it's all subjective. Are you looking for something fruity? Are you looking for something smoky? Or do you want it all? And at Creed's price points, is wanting it all too much? I think not. So here's the deal. Back in January, I received this little puppy here, Emperor Act straight from the House of Parfum Vintage. And I've been testing and comparing it to my bottle of 2014 of Ventus. So let's see how they did. Did they knock it out the park or is this one just another clone? Now I know some of you guys and girls out there are gonna ask this Big Beard B. Didn't they come out with two formulations? Well, yes, they did. You have Emperor and Emperor Act Straight and they both come in the standard presentation. You have the box that looks at something like this. Well, it did look like that. Fuck the box. Now when it comes to the no breakdown of Emperor Act Straight, it's pretty much what we can expect from an Aventus-like fragrance okay in the top notes here you got pineapple apple and juniper berries in the mid we got bergamot rose and jasmine and then in the base you got patchouli musk ambergris vanilla and birch so as you can see the no breakdown for emperor extra is pretty much the same as what you will find in the Ventus, except for the notes are used in a slightly different way and in different parts of the fragrance pyramid. Now, when it comes down to scent, to me, Emperor Axtrade is a sophisticated, rich, smoky, yet fruity fragrance that has far surpassed my expectations. In the past, I would often say when people ask Big Bib B, what do you think about this fragrance or this fragrance? And I would generally say, if you want a Ventus, then buy a Ventus. No matter if you have to save up or whatever it takes, go ahead and get you a bottle of Ventus if that's what you really need. But I've been recommending this one here to a ton of people on Snapchat and Instagram. Like, hey, Big Bib B, what do I need? And I've been telling them to check this fragrance out because it's been amazing. Now here's the deal, I personally have an older bottle of Aventus, it's about 2014, 2015, one of those formulations there, and I haven't personally dealt with the issues and performance that some people are talking about, but with the amount of complaints that I get out there, or I see out there, there has to be some validity to it. Which is why I've been recommending this one to people is because if you're looking for a fragrance that has everything you love about Aventus and the performance to go along with it, the Emperor Extra is the way to go. Now to me, although I personally like the top notes of Aventus, as I've said in the past in other videos, I think other fragrances have done that better. But to me, the true beauty in Aventus is on the dry down and Emperor Act Straight nails it on the head. In the dry down, I get this birch bomb set atop this pineapple notes and I personally enjoy that and it just smells classy. The way the smokiness is replicated in Emperor Act Straight is unreal and if you're like me and enjoy that, then you won't be let down. The opening is still great, it's fresh, it's fruity and it almost has this juiciness to it. The apple and pineapple are present and accounted for and truly don't disappoint. I often joke around with people and say that Aventus smells like money because in fact it does, not like the actual form of money, but you can definitely tell that you spent some money on that particular fragrance. And I think the Emperor Extract plays in that same field, but for a fraction of the price. Here's the deal, when you take a look at what really makes Aventus so unique and successful, it has to be Creed's innovation. But if you take away that consistency and ability to be unique and make that consistent batch year after year, then you're really just left with the fragrance with the high price tag. And look, man, I'm not saying these things to shy you away from buying Aventus, 
Creed's going to make their money. Trust me. I just wanted to make sure that I bring you guys additional alternative options that perform just the same with the smell you want, the quality you want for a fraction of the price. Now, here's the deal. Recent batches of Aventus have been getting shipped for their performance. And like I said, man, I got an older batch of Aventus, so I cannot confirm nor deny that. So I want to make sure we are clear when I state this. But here's what I can tell you. I've had this thing in my collection for, I don't know, three, four months now. And I haven't gotten any problems with performance in my testings or my actual wearings. If you go back to a few of the weekly fragrance rotation videos that I've worn this thing, it has performed. I'm getting about 10 hours of longevity in terms of performance and the projection isn't bad either. As with all other Parfum Vintage fragrances, Emperor Act Straight and Emperor can be found for sale on the Parfum Vintage website. Now they did have a promo code available on this one. I just double checked it. It was supposed to end on the third and I believe it did end on the third because the promo code does not work anymore. But you can always check around, man, and see if anyone has any codes out there that could get you any money off this thing. Right now, it's been selling like hotcakes, man. It's on back order through April 29th at the time of filming this video. And if you're looking for it, you got to get your order in. This one sells for $119 for a 50 ml, which isn't bad, man, because I'm trying to tell you. This one is a lot cheaper than your Creed, and it's going to perform just the same, if not better, than the bottle that I have. And I have a 2014, 2015. I'm pretty sure it was like purchased in 2014, so we're gonna run with that. Look, I get it. Some of you guys and girls out there are gonna disagree with this video for the sheer fact that we are discussing a clone, a recreation, an inspired expression, an interpretation, whatever you wanna call it. But the, the reality of it is, is this one is a well-crafted fragrance front of house of Parfums Vintage and they really did a great job with it. I personally give Emperor Act Straight on a scale of 1 to 10 an 8 out of 10 with the only points being deducted for creativity because obviously this is a recreation of another fragrance but everything else they have nailed down man. They have nailed down performance, longevity is good, this one smells amazing and it has all the qualities that I like about a Vintage and I always used to say that Pop Pineapple Vintage Intense was the number one go-to fragrance for a Aventus clone. And I will now change that to Emperor Extra is the one to go to. Now, I'm not sure if this one comes in a 100 ml bottle. I don't believe it does. I only believe it comes in a 50 ml at this time. But this is a solid fragrance, man, and I'm happy to have it in the collection. If you have any experience with this fragrance, comment down below and let me know your personal thoughts and opinions on it. All the opinions are welcome because that's what we do here. As always, I'm your boy, Big B. B. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And be a king. Be an emperor.